Hey everybody, Nick here, and uh, today, well, you can see I've, I've done my nails a little bit differently for the channel, and in fact, you might notice that the LBHs are looking a little bit more actual than usual. Um, in fact, it brings me great joy to uh, bring to you today a video with the wife. Introduce Hello. yourself, honey. <laughs> Hello, I'm the wife. Hey, okay, so th this is formerly known as the fiancé, same, same basic entity now, just with much fancy nails, and I know everyone's going to ask, who, who did your nails? I did. Oh, yeah, in fact, she's been doing nails in, like, a serious way. It's, it's the point now where th th there is so much glitter, uh, there is more glitter around our house than a freaking drag show on New Year's Eve. It's it's getting to be an affair. But I appreciate it nonetheless, and they look pretty excellent. I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm especially digging the little bit of, like, if somebody can put this on a knife scale, oh, yeah, I can definitely see that. But um, I have asked the wife here today uh, for a couple of things. I mean, to start with, uh, I'd just like her to take a couple of looks at some pieces from my collection here. And she has agreed to graciously uh, do, 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 do so. So I'd like to get some of her, uh, her opinions, her feedback on some of these wonderful pieces. And we're going to start it off right here. Uh, what do you think of this little guy? This is the Herman Knives uh, Vespatilio. I think it looks nice. I like the detail there. It's a little aggressive. A little aggro, okay. But not overly so. Okay, okay. I can see that. I can see that. Fair enough. Um, do, 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 any other thoughts on design or materials? Is this something you would enjoy? Um, a little small for my hand. A little small, okay, yep. Um, and I think you push that down? Yep, push that down. Okay. It's a line lock. Okay. So not too bad to close with the nails? Yeah, the nails are a, a major factor, actually. Uh, yeah, flip and tap style deployer, uh, my deployment, that is. Yeah, you yeah, can usually grab right up here and just pull it out that way naturally but for future with reference. nails, no. Yeah, that's going to be a more happen. difficult piece. Okay. No. All right. Nice look. Okay, like. good. Good, good, good. All right, uh, let's switch over. So that was a little small for you, Dave. Uh, let's try this one instead. This is the uh, Demco Knives AD20. Pretty good for my hand. Okay. She has exactly the opposite knife taste to me. It's hilarious. Um, I don't know. I get like, I don't know, like a weird military feel to it. A little bit, yeah. With the way the blade looks. Yeah. Um, and the blade is, it's one of those where the blade is a lot smaller than the, than the handle. She's a blade to handle ratio snob, yep. Um, it just, it looks unbalanced like that. I don't know if, 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 it, if the knife is actually unbalanced. It, the, the handle does feel a lot heavier, but, um, it is, it's okay. I'm not okay. super impressed. It is a little, it's almost too heavy. All right. If you would ask to make, and by the way, uh, ladies and gents, I just want to be very clear about one thing. This, this is the woman I love here. And my, when I ask these questions, my, my desire is not to make fun of her in any way, shape or form. Uh, it's just to get a sense of what somebody who is sort of outside of the, the knife world um, would say about some of these things. Um, and as a matter of fact, uh, so what would you estimate a price on this particular knife to be? An estimated price or how much would I pay? Oh, I like both. Let's get both. Oh, this is going to be brutal. Um, estimated price, I would say like $300, and I would pay $100. Okay, interesting. Um, not quite there, but uh, of course, I got this one for free, so uh, <laughs> don't, don't tell her. But okay, how do you close it? Um, I think you have to push that, but I don't want to push it and then flip it over and hurt myself. Does that make sense? Something along those lines. I'm not going to yeah. give you hints yet. I'm just curious. This no. is a brand new locking mechanism referred to as the shark lock. Oh, you pull down on that and uh -huh. then? Okay. And now you should be able to close it. Yeah. Okay. So it was a little hard to do, but again, nails. N nails are definitely a factor. Okay. And my hand isn't that big. Like if I had big fingers yeah, if you had with no nails, I think that would be easier to do. Big masculine hands like mine, <laughs> right? 
This woman makes fun of my little bitch hands more than any YouTuber. It's kind of hilarious at this point. Okay, um, let's go on ahead and check out uh, this little guy right here. I think I've seen this before. You have indeed. I'm just getting, the, I'm trying to get a sense of, uh, what do you remember about it? Um, the blade is douchey. <laughs> Um, does it re does it resemble anything in your mind? No. Okay. No, I don't have any. Okay, fair enough. Anything. Most people go horses anatomy actually with it, but oh, eh. yeah, okay. I mean, I'm not staring at that many horses anatomies, so I don't have <laughs> that reference. Oh, Maybe I'm kind of glad do. to hear that, honey. I'm kind of glad um, to hear that. All right, but if. It's this that looks weird to me. Like, this is kind of interesting. And okay. in the, like, I don't know, like, I don't know what a formal reference to this is, but it has, like, a saber kind of... Yeah, so there's the compound grind where it's, it's there's one grind on this part here and there's a different one down here. Well, and that it's rounded shaped. Ah, okay, gotcha. I think is, yeah, that's that where rounded I get Tonto that. style blade. Yeah. As but opposed it... to a classical Tonto style, yeah. But this just... I'm not sure my slice and cheese. I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah. Fair and enough. Then, and this is, like, the color is nice, but the hexagonal, yeah. it kind of it just kind of looks like polka dots. Oh, okay. I can see um, that. And, like, polka dots are okay, but I don't know if that's what people are going for. Like, okay. this side, that looks, that's a, it's a good color. It's interesting. kind of neutral. Go and play Jane with it. Yeah, like it's like the what do you, like a the blue kind of silver you know tone, but um, but that I just not my thing. All right, fair enough. Uh, estimated price and what you'd pay for it? Um, one fifty price. I wouldn't buy it. Oof. Okay. That's uh, only off by about 10 times, so we're going to go on ahead and not let you... This is why you need to be honest, by the way, <laughs> with your spouse about how much you pay for things, because the, the, the joke is that someday your wife might sell you a collection for what you told her you paid, and that would be a very sad day. Okay, uh, let's go to a slightly different approach. Um, let's check this guy out. This is the Protec Knives Malibu. Um, it's small. Yep. Which sometimes maybe you want. I like the the kind of holographic look there. Yeah, a little bit of mother of pearl. Um, the damask blade is. I don't know. I feel like it's trying too hard. Trying too hard. Oh boy, do I have another choice for you. Um, okay. Um, which it, it can be a nice look, and I understand that if it's actually Damascus, then it has a structural thing but I, I, it, it seems like it's trying too hard on this and it's in like doing this pattern on the handle fights interesting okay visually it fights with that okay um and it's a little short um and i rarely ever like that kind of pointed sharky Okay, you're not loving the reverse tanto where it slopes up in the back of you? No, I okay. usually don't care for that. All right, fair enough. So uh, here's a knife then that is very much not trying too hard, and that would be this little guy right here. This is a uh, Holt Knives Spectre. This is actually nice. Interesting. Okay, so that's not trying too hard. No, I think that they, and maybe it's the size. Okay. If you, to reach out a frame there, comparing like, I don't know, because it's so squished up on there. Oh, okay. Um, it's not as visually pleasing. And again, structural, I don't know. But visual-wise, it, it's too squished. So then I assume this is also not going to float your boat with this Actually, kind of a Damascus pattern, super tight weave. It is a super tight weave, but it has a different visual impact because okay. of the way the circles go. Um, so it's actually not. Okay, fair enough. A problem and then this because the pattern matches uh -huh. it actually it enhances the way that it looks okay yeah, i can see that i sure. don't i don't like the blade the way the, the shape that tip okay 
but I usually don't. Not a big fan of pointy tips then? Um, not for this style, no. So then I have to ask you, uh, how about this bad boy right here? That's okay. It's okay? The, and, and the reason why is because there's a little more artistic okay. quality hey. to the way that it's cut on there. Yeah, okay. Um, and because also they added that visual detail and maybe it's... Um, artistic visual no i mean john you know. graham is known for doing crazy grinds so and that's the designer of this particular knife right here this is the john graham uh cricket razor cliff okay um if you were to give me a price for each of these guys on the table here what would you go for um price yeah five hundred dollars okay I would pay. Do you mean to for the, this piece of inlay here piece, or for the entire for the, knife? for the whole thing? Okay. Um, and I would potentially pay that. It's just within range of like shape. The handle okay. could be a little wider for me. Sure. But again, nails. Yep. Um, of course. And um, this one, it's okay. Um, I say three hundred, and I would not want to buy it. Okay. Um, Good thing I already did. We got that covered. <laughs> How about you? And this one is... This is the Atlantic Busker, yeah. by the way. To be a girl, it's cute. Okay. No, that's completely fine. Um, I feel like it's actually usable, and because of the way it curves here, uh -huh. I actually feel like I can reasonably keep hold of it, and because you've got that there, um, to be able to hold on to it and... You know, okay. do things you need to do. The roundedness <laughs> there is actually not, un, like, it's okay to look at. I'm it's not, like, okay to look at. I'm okay. not super excited about it, but I'm okay with it. Good. And and the handle is kind of neat. Okay. Gotcha. How about its big brother here? This is um, similar knife, uh, sim similar company, that is, same company, but... Um... It's hard to decide if it's douchey or not. <laughs> if it's hard to decide, I think we know the answer, don't we? I mean, it's it's almost douchey, but it's also just just barely interesting. Okay. And I think again, the way that it's shaped on there that they that they don't just leave it as flat. Yeah. Um, adds a visual impact. Um, the small detail there along with the, I don't know what you call that, but like a the screws, a screw. Okay. I, mean, yeah. I don't know if it has a fancy. No, term. we don't have a fancy <laughs> term for screws here. We're, uh, we're keeping it simple. Um, but it's that's a T6 screw, right? Okay, to be T6. Yeah. Um, it's, it's nice mm -hmm. that it has that again, that little bit of visual, um, and, and the little, the clip. Okay. Yeah. So. So I, I say it's okay. It's within range of okay. It's within range of okay. Uh, price wise, where are we at here? Um, one fifty. I would pay fifty. Okay, uh, on both of them. Um, this one I would say two hundred, and I would say I would pay seventy five. Okay, and I need a price check on this guy right here. Um. Even though it's small, it looks like it would be more expensive. Where are we um, at? 275. Okay. Um, and I don't think I would buy it. Okay. Fair, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Um, I, I, the, the, we've been looking at some pretty exotic ones. I'd like to show you something a little bit more basic. Kind of get you that, 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 that sense of thing. So, um... Here we go. Uh, I'm going to need your thoughts on this right here. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> um, you and you too, my friend. You and I, you too. I feel like this is something the Tiger King would like <laughs> wear. And, and he would use it unironically. He would really mean it. He pulled it out. You're killing me. Good. Go, go. And... The blade looks kind of neat. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you that, like a little flame kind of thing. Um, I feel like it would be somewhat ineffective at stabbing people. Okay. Um, which might be a good thing. I um, mean, potentially. It would definitely be ineffective at, 
you know, cutting open a box. Well, but what if you needed to trim only half of the pasta on the cutting board? You could kind of come down like this and just get a small amount of yeah, it. I mean, if you're going time. for an uneven cut, but you're also, if you're trying to, you're only going to get this part of it. Yeah. This is completely, unless you're coming at it like this sort of thing, it's completely in ineffectual. And she's already picked up on the fact that having a flip a tad down below the blade can be a fundamental problem cutting on the flat surfaces. Um, it's a knife gripe. Which knife gripe was that? It was a thing. And I, I feel like things would get stuck in there and it'd be really hard to clean. I mean, I'm sure you can take it apart. But okay. yeah, um, but this is this is high level douchitude, <laughs> and I'm a little scared that they signed their name on the blade because I wouldn't have wanted to do that. Mister Thompson is indeed a um, it, it, it's on brand. We'll just say that, yeah. and and you know everybody has a style, and it's just and this it's is not my style. thing. Yep, you know, absolutely okay. Okay, good. Um, okay, next up I gotta ask you about um, this little guy right here. What's your take on this? It's simple. Yep. Um, I'm not as into the pointiness, okay. but I usually am not. Yep. Um, the handle is simple, but it has it's a little bit interesting. Okay, yep. Um, it's got a decent weight to it. A little small. Yep, that's the small version of that knife. That's the Chris Reeves Sebenza. Um, doesn't fit well for my hand. Okay. Um, but it's 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 a decent knife. Okay, decent knife. Okay, fair enough. Uh, how about this bad boy right here? Um, again, don't like the pointiness as yeah. much, but the blade is okay. Okay. Um. The pattern on there is not really visually pleasing. Okay. It's kind of it's kind of weird, um, and definitely does not mix well with the handle. Okay. Um, the handle is nice. Okay. But it doesn't make sense. Okay. They fight each other. Okay. Um, and I think the mother of pearl. You think you know like grandma's gonna whip this out at Thanksgiving and <laughs> you know stab the turkey. I don't know. A little small for this the, the turkey stabbing, I think. I mean, depends on how big your turkey is. Yeah, it's fair. Right? You know? Like a, a two pounder, it's got to be know? a thing, right? Or if you're you're going fancy and you're doing like a, you know, quail or something like that, grandma yeah. could whip that out and start going to town. So it's for quail hunting, is what you tell right, me. There you go. Okay. You know. And now it makes sense. Great. Yeah. Now I've got a justification. That's my quail hunting knife. There you Perfect. go. Yeah. Okay. Not that there's a gem. I don't know. Yep, that, that, that is indeed a gem, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, oh, what else do I need to show you here? Actually, let's let's keep the fancy train rolling here. Oh, and how much? Um, I think with the, I don't know if it's real mother of pearl kind of look. It is real. Um, so I think that would add to your expenses. And this is hand engraved. Hand engraved, okay. Um, so I would say 350 and... I probably wouldn't buy it, but I might buy it for my grandmother. <laughs> um, and one twenty-five. Hey, everybody! Her grandmother here. Um, okay, one twenty-five. Is you say? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. How about this bad boy right behind it? Um. Ooh, there's a little face on there, right there. That's interesting. Oh, I didn't notice that. Eh, yeah. A little bit of pareidolia going on there. Nice. I'm in. Um, the blade, again, is okay. I think I don't like the, like, short squat circle look, um, which is what I'm getting out of that. Um, the handle is also okay. Okay. Kind of wave pattern. That's it's all right. Okay. Um, this part... If you just, just look at that, that part is not uninteresting. Um, <laughs> so if you just look at the part in the middle that has nothing going on, it's looking well, good. Well, no, but, like, it has, like, a little bit of, a like, reflective quality there. Oh, yeah, yeah, there, you got your pivot collar going on, yeah. You know, yeah. and the coloring pattern isn't isn't bad, but it just, I'm not excited. Not excited. Okay, Zircutai is not your thing. This is a Zircutai, mix of zirconium and titanium. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> handle again okay, is a little short. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I'm not impressed. Yeah, didn't do I, anything for me. <laughs> Gentlemen, um, take note. Your your knife collection is unlikely to impress at, at the very least this woman. Um, really depends on what you got in there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this, yeah, it's just it's not. It's not okay. It it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Fair enough. Um, uh, so then, in that case, uh, actually, I want to do uh, two more. Uh, let's go with this guy right here. Um, I mean, it's plastic, so it feels very different. Okay. Um, it does feel, like, uh, off balance, because the top is obviously heavier. Um, okay. I don't know what is going on with that. The little chin on it there. Yeah. Yep. That, that me neither. Um, I don't. I don't. It looks weird. Um, and I feel like yep. maybe depending on what you're using it for or how you're using it, like that might catch on something. Yep. Agreed. Um, how much? Um, fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Okay. And I mean, it's just long enough. Like I could cut a box. Okay. You know, yeah. Okay. You're okay with it? Yeah, I'm all right. All right. I'm not excited. Okay. And then uh, this one, I'm very curious about your take on. This one's interesting in that the blade is matte. Okay. Um, yep. You don't really see that. No, not as often. Um, this, where the blade kind of lifts up a little bit, mm -hmm. is a little strange. Yeah, the spear point is mm -hmm. the... Yeah. It's very pokey. Okay. Um... And the balance is actually better than the last one, okay. even though it is, I think it's plastic too. Technically, um, it's a G10 resin, but you know, whatever. Resin, plastic. Man. Yeah. Um, and I'm slightly better than okay. Slightly better than okay. All right. Fair enough. I, uh, I can see that. Of all of the pieces, and we'll we'll open it up a little. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I, I have two more that you need to take a look at here. Um, first off, we have uh, this fine gentleman here. Well, I think I've seen this before. I think I've shown this to you before. And it seemed... I don't know. It, it's, it seems like something you would see in a like comic book store or oh. those knife you know stores at the mall where it's you know it has something to do with some kind of tv show or something yeah um it seems impractical um obviously yeah. like holding on to it is i don't feel like i'd have a very good grip to do anything sure if you stab somebody there'd be a lot of blood to be able to Flow out, I Going guess. in the blood groove theory of, of fully designed. Okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, Again, she is more hardcore than I am, ladies and gentlemen. We know this for a fact. And. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a. It's okay. Okay. Then I got to ask your opinion on this particular gem. Um. Also a little unbalanced. Okay. Um, I think those are skulls. That they, I believe that's the design intention. Um, it is. It is unclear because of the way the positioning. It is somewhat unclear that that is skulls. Yep. Um, it's a little stealthier, you know. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's what you want to do. Um, Let's have it not be obvious. Um, <laughs> you want the crypto skulls going. And I don't care for the color. Okay, yeah. Um, the length is okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You're okay with it? Not amazing? Yeah, no. No, not okay? Yeah. I mean... You're not going to sneak into my knife box and borrow this one for your daily life? No. Okay. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't use this. Okay. So then, uh, finally, you've been looking at the, the, the smaller knives we've discussed. I'd like to give you something a little larger. What are your thoughts on this particular piece? Um, it is just a bit too big. Okay. For my hand, just a bit. Like, we have a size queen here. Yep. Um, so, like, 
it could lose like that much. Okay. And it would probably be okay. It's got um, a good seven finger grip going there. Yep. It does seem very unbalanced. It's very top heavy. Okay. Um, probably I think this is where the weight yep, is, is overbalanced. Um The rest of it looks, I'm not excited, but I'm not uninterested. Okay. Slightly above neutral. Do you find it shocking in any way? Um. Sorry, the name of the knife is the shock. The so, shock. Yeah. I, I don't feel shocked. Okay. Um. It feels, aside from, from size, it does feel relatively practical. Like you could actually do things with it. Okay. Um. But, yeah. Okay. Now, finally, what I'd like to do... Uh, thank you very much. Oh, of course, a uh, price on this. Sheer size, I would say 500 And if I had to, I would pay 150 Okay. Fair enough. So, of all of the many pieces arrayed on the table right now, um, there, there, there are many, and I'll, I'll start moving some of them into the frame here just to make things a little easier for us. Of all of the many pieces on the table here, which do you think is the most expensive? And I'm not going to hold you to your prior price estimates, but let's... Uh, actually, we didn't talk about that one. I'll throw that one in the frame. And then plus lots more here. Just putting these more in range for you. Which of these is going to be... I'll take that one out. We didn't talk about it. Which of these is going to be most I don't think expensive? We talked about that. Oh, we didn't. No, but we can. They're there. Yeah, let's um, talk about. It. It's okay. It seems like, you know, this your grandpa brought this, you know, home in World War Two, and <laughs> he's hanging on to it for like a really long time. And this is he, he goes fishing and he takes this knife. And, okay, so it's know. a traditional old school kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's, it's not too fancy. It just it's, it has a purpose. Okay. Grandpa's World War II knife. But okay, of all the knives on the table here today, uh, which one of these is the most expensive, do you think? And which one is the least expensive is the next question I'm going to ask you. Um... I think you can't see it right now. You can just go ahead and bring it on the screen here. I think this is a contender because of the mother of pearl and it's hand the most engraving. Yep. They they should be charging if they're doing hand engraving on metal like that. Yep. Um, this because of sheer size. Okay. Yep. Um, you can't see this one. She's gesturing but, here to the CRKT. Uh, oh, what the heck was the name of this thing, anyways? It's um, like they put it on the blade. The hearing, that's right. Heron? Hearing, yeah. As in, I'm having trouble hearing you because this Batman mask doesn't have good ear holes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you can put it down. Okay, just check. Um, but I would say that just because it looks okay. weird. And, you know, when you do weird stuff, you want to charge people for it. <laughs> um, that, that, that's a good, uh, that, that's good me you know, message. Yeah, you're yep. being creative and different. It has a very... I don't know, Egyptian kind of feel to it. Yeah, it does. Alien, Egyptian. Stargate kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yep. You know. Okay. Um, I would say, th so that that is a contender. Okay. Um, um, I would say this would be a contender because it had a lot of the Damascus on there. Yep, absolutely. I don't know if... Doing the Damascus for this kind of thing, or if that's just a like an on the surface engraving. No, nope, that's kinda. all damascus steel. And if that like there's a difference in how you do it for the structure of the blade versus how you do it for that. To maybe my knowledge, different. it's just another chunk of steel, but still, you know, um, it's expensive as steel. Um, I feel like this would be the most expensive. Okay, uh, there is somewhere a CRKT executive clapping for joy. Um, in fact, this is a, uh, they wanted about 700 bucks for that. Uh, this I guy I said five. Yeah, you so. said five. And most people, well, most people did not estimate it that highly. Um, this guy's coming in here around 1300 bucks to get one of these guys brand new. Uh, this guy, this is very, this is one of the most hyped knives in the world at the moment. Um, I regularly get offers in the several thousand for this knife. Um, but originally I think table price... 
Uh, actually, I don't even know what table price is on these guys. Um, but nonetheless, um, you know, expect to see these guys running anywhere from 1500 to several thousand dollars. Um, so, uh, yeah, it, it's hard to say table price because this was a one-off piece. Anyways, um, this guy here is about uh, 1100 bucks uh, is where you would go. She's shaking her head. You can't hear it, but it's a thing. Um, we're about 700 here. This guy actually came in around 200 And what was the other one that you were bringing up? Okay, what is the least expensive knife on the table here? Trying to condense things down here a little bit. Actually, we never talked about that. Um, we didn't talk about this either. Oh, yeah, we never talked about this. Milwaukee's best. This is the Milwaukee Fastback. Um, it's a box cutter. It's a box cutter, yes. Yeah, so we can put that into the knife family. I mean, yes. <laughs> um... But that's a box cutter. Uh, uh, again, uh, no disagreements um, there. I can't carry a knife at jobs I've had, like retail jobs. I can't carry a knife, but I could carry that because it's a box cutter. Oh, so in that way, it's actually maybe the most useful knife on the table for many. Yeah. Okay. You know, you're at work, you need to break it down a box, whip that out. Okay. Um, least expensive, I would say... Somewhere this one, this one, this one. So you've gestured to this guy here, mm -hmm. the Sandrine Torino, the Milwaukee Fastback, and then the Pena Knives uh, Front Flipper Trapper. Yeah, just because okay. it has it's it's more simple, it's more traditional look. Um, okay. Wood, I assume, would be cheaper. This and... is actually all my Carta. Uh, it's I don't a, know what a that resin is. and uh, oh, it's cloth okay. inlaid in resin, basically. Okay. Um, and I would assume that probably, like, resin-based handles would be cheaper to produce. Potentially, um, than titanium, full titanium. Okay. You know, yeah, which would bring down the cost of your knife, which hopefully would bring down your, um, your price. But Okay. So you're between these guys. Um, yeah. So this is $8. Good call. This is, in fact, the least expensive on the table. Uh, this one is $200. Um, but that's because the blade is in a tungsten carbide, which is not actually steel. Uh, this is uh, a, a $900 custom knife by uh, <laughs> Enrique Pena. Uh, this is another one of the knives that I regularly get off as people just like, Oh, Nick, I want to buy that. Like, no, dude. So this is a uh, relatively um, hot piece, so to speak. And this one that you were identifying earlier, uh, this is a $30 knife. Uh, I'm sorry, $25 knife. This is the CRKT Razel Cliff. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, and that one, I would, like, you could actually reasonably carry that around and it'd be more than worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this is a perspective, right? This is, <laughs> this is the thing that I never say. Okay. Of these, my knife of the year is on the table. Actually, my knife of the year for two different years are on the table at the moment. Are they two knives or it's the there same There are two knife? different knives, both of which have been my knife of the year, historically. Uh, you just um, take a shot. Knife of the year in that you like this, you My carry it. My very favorite knife of the year, yes. The best knife of 2020 and 2017 are both on the table at the moment. So, again, these are two different pieces. Two different pieces, yes. Okay. Um, I would say this has to be a contender okay. because if you've gotten offers and you've said no, that means there's a commitment. Yep, that, that is actually, that is not one of the choices. Um, this one's getting offers because the Holtz are a very, this is a Holt Blade Works uh, Spectre. Uh, they are very, very popular at the moment. They were kind of the peak of the hype cycle. Um, Great knife, but actually not bad. And it's hard to like say based on what you carry because you're always carrying different things. Exactly. You, you don't, don't have a... my freaking life. Okay. You, you don't have something that you carry around all the time. Um I know it's a difficult It's question. hard I because I don't, again, I don't have that, that reference to see. Um, I'm going to go on. Razel Cliff? Okay. That you, you, would, you would like this. <laughs> you would like this. <laughs> and you could actually carry this around. I could, yeah. Um...
Nailed it. This is this. Uh, yeah, this is the ProTech Knives Malibu, and is uh, yeah, this was 2020's knife of the year. Actually. Okay. Nice. The other one, of course, is the Alamic Busca. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they were adjacent. They, it was throwing off vibes. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, this one, uh, very easily, actually, and this guy was in the running as well. This was the other clear contender that, I, with the shock I lock. See that? Oh, yeah, 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 with yeah, the weird yeah, lock yeah. on the top there. Yeah. So, okay. Well, that will uh, that'll conclude the knife portion of today's episode. Uh, I'd like to then, uh, well, get into watches. All right, this one, ladies and gentlemen, I'm stealing myself for, both because it's a bad idea to get into watches and we're about to get into watches, and because I'm now showing the wife my watch box. And this is a dangerous thing. But that said, Adi, let's talk about these. What do you think? So to clarify for everyone, this is the first time I have ever seen it all together. I see pieces <clears throat> here, pieces there, but I've never seen a whole... This is my box reveal. Someone, <laughs> someone called Kenny Loggins. We just entered the danger zone. <laughs> um, now I remember having seen that. Yep, that's the Monta Watch Noble that actually just arrived today. I have Although seen I that, that and you've you have you shown me pictures of it. Yeah, I, I, and I had one for review as a load, but um, the Batman watch I saw the other day. Yep, this is uh, the undone Batman watch, gifted to me by Slicey Dicey in the Guild. Um, I don't remember it, and it does nothing for me. <laughs> Same. Because <laughs> um, I don't, I don't like plastic have a watches. At the moment, but... um, I feel like I've seen that. Yeah, you have, certainly. Um, and I, it's a little small. Yep. It seems more like a, a woman's watch. Okay. Um, well. Size-wise. Um, I believe I have seen this and disliked this. Yep, probably. Um, cause it just looks, it looks like a toy watch. Okay. Um, the Seiko, it's a little big. It is. Um, but not horrible. Yep, not horrible. That's, that's high praise. Um, I like the colors of this. I've seen it and liked the colors. Um... And the face is a little busy. Yep. Um, I don't like that. Okay. Um, the Omega is all kind of look the same. <laughs> um, I don't care for that. Okay. Um, and I don't know that I've ever seen that one. Okay. And... The only thing I do like about it is the kind of trident thing on it. Which is, interestingly, the thing that a lot of people dislike. Okay. Um, just because it, it seems kind of like devilish evil, and uh, okay. that's kind of that's neat. Uh, okay, that's your brand. Okay, so of these, which is your favorite? Um, I would say I like this one a lot. Okay. Um, it seems very you- Yep. And it's a nice color. Okay. Um, I like this one too. Mm -hmm. But just because really the colors, the purple yeah. and the teal, it's a, it's a, it's a, like it would go with mermaid nails really nicely. Okay, good. So, so I can get some mermaid nails <laughs> and we'll do that up big. Okay. Any others jumping out at you or is that it? I don't like any of the other ones. Cassia Royale? No. No. Okay. Uh, what is your least favorite of all of these? Mm, I mean, setting aside the plastic ones, just because I don't care yeah, for that's the fine. plastic. Um, this was a gift from my godparents, so, you know. I mean, and and I and that's, it has a sentimental value, and that, that sets it apart in that sense. Yeah. Um, but style-wise, not my thing. Yep, it's um, fine. Honestly... I dislike these two. Okay. I dislike this one the most. Dislike that one the most. Okay. So that's it's Meritac GMT. And... Personally. Yep. It's ugly. It's ugly. Okay. It looks like a toy. Okay. People put in show, or they, you shouldn't pay money for it. Okay. And why? Okay. That's a, that's a, that's a fair opinion. What of these is the most expensive? 
Um, and we're just going to talk full bill retail here. Just. I don't know the brand on some of them. Okay. Like this one, I don't know what the brand it's is. It's Meritech. It's a uh, it's Oh, that's how you said it. Yep. Um, I know Seiko is not always expensive, but Grand Seiko is expensive. Holy crap. You just demonstrated more watch knowledge than 99% <laughs> of the earth. Congratulations, yeah. honey. You did a good job. Well, I did work the watch counter in retail at some point. Oh, that's right. You did. Yeah, it was back yeah, in the day. Yeah, Citizens. Um, yeah, it was Citizens and Seiko. Yep. Um, but I'm not familiar with Grand Seiko. Yep. Um, I don't know Manta. Is that it? Yeah, it's a relatively new micro brand. Um, I don't know that, and I know Omegas are usually pricey. Okay. Um, I'm not familiar with the Christopher Ward. Yep. It's a relatively new micro brand as well. I don't know what micro brand means. It means, okay, let's drop the pretense here. It's a, a small group of people making a watch. Uh, it, so a, like micro brewing? Effectively, yes. It's just okay. like instead of being some big group You're of not Swiss Budweiser, people, you're, group. you know, yeah. Yeah, exactly. These folks are based out of London. Those folks are based out of St. Louis, the Monta folks. Hmm. Yeah, this is a military contract. That, okay. Yeah. Um, which, honestly, that kind of explains it more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These, uh, I you mean, know. look, I know you're going to love this style touch. Yeah. Yeah, they're trying their best. Yeah. You know, I can see it appealing to a military, you know, it's simple, it's effective. You've got your, yeah, okay, you've got your, um, military time on there. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so, yeah, I could, I could see it. Yep. Um, so don't like it, but I can see it. That's fine. I, you, um, I don't like my... And I don't... Casio is usually associated with, like, these kind of watches, but this is the fancy. Like, yeah. Grand Seiko, this is the fancy. Yeah. Um, and you got two Omegas on there. Um, but this one's bigger, so it seems like it would be more expensive. Um, yeah, that's, recently, that's a thing. Um, I would say between the Omegas and the Casio. Okay. And I think just the Casio because it looks fancier. Okay. Um, if you were to guess on the price for the Omega here, the Casio. Now I'm going to say, because I have like some inside information that you have spent money in the thousands of dollars. Yeah, unfortunately. On watches. Um or yeah. a watch or two. <laughs> um yep. yes, I remember no. um I remember trips to fancy malls with Omega stores. And Lewis Jewel is of course in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Um yes, I I remember them too, who also <laughs> wanted to sell me a watch, but as you can see, I don't I I wear no jewelry really. But they did make large components of your wedding ring. Um that they did. That yeah. they did. And mine. Self-designed. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm going to lean on this one being the most expensive. Okay. And I'm I'm going sheer size. Go for it. That's fine. Um, this one, I think, has been around a while. So I, I, I remember this being. I yeah, that was actually. A, I wore this for our wedding day. You know, I believe this being in the thousands of dollars. Okay. Um, and... I don't have a price on that one, but I I feel like it's expensive. Okay, so what was your what was your number here? What I remember being said at some point was five or six thousand dollars. Okay, okay, thank God. Okay, she went <laughs> high. Hallelujah. Yeah, so we're looking at around uh, I, I want to say around forty eight hundred uh, for these guys, brand new. Uh, this is actually the most expensive watch in oh, the, the grand. In the oh, case. it is the largest. Also. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this all is a uh, yeah. grand set. Actually, at the moment, I hadn't worn it for a couple of days, so I'll wind it up so you can see what makes uh, one of the things that makes it special. Um, but yeah, this is a uh, this watch here. I believe bone stock ends up someplace in the five thousand range. Um, again, there are many different versions of it. But uh, the, the the key distinction here, of course, being that unlike every other one, see, this ticks once a second. This ticks a little bit more quickly. This has a completely smooth sweep. The second hand is completely smooth. 
Oh, rather than like duh, yes. Duh, 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 Do you give a duh, damn about duh, that? Is that are, are you getting a little bit like oh, I need to take this man to the bedroom? Look at that. No. Okay. Um. Generally, I mean, if you're it. standing there and staring at your watch a lot, I could see that being of benefit. But if you're literally looking at it for like a second to tell the time, you don't. Care. Although because watches are made to look confusing. It takes you longer to figure out what the hell you're looking oh, at. I see, I Therefore, see. that being a factor could be nice. Okay. Your Casio here was about 1800 um, So uh, substantially less than maybe we expected. Um, this Omega, I got used actually for uh, 900 bucks. Okay. So I feel pretty good about this. Uh, any thought on the Monta? Like, how do we um, feel about quality relative to looking at the Grand Seiko, the Omegas right next to it? I mean, I feel like it's in there. Okay. I, I, I wouldn't, with no knowledge, really, I don't really question that it, it's not a contender. Um, and, you know, if you, if you had put this in the case with the, you know, ca uh, the um, Citizen and the, you know, basic Seikos... Um, you know, I would have put it around like three or four hundred. Three or four hundred. Okay. If you if you'd put it in that case, I could see that what it was at, it at a higher end. Um, if you put it in the case with the Omega, I would say that. Um, a, a moderate end. Mm -hmm. um, I can see there being an argument if you're doing the the micro brewing of watches where you're like. You're doing limited edition kinds of things. Thank you can God raise it's your, not, but... you know, I would. There's an argument for doing that because you can raise your price on it because, well, this is one shot only, um, and you can only buy used after that. So, just for the record, people, I'm not going to kick her out of the house for praising limited editions here. This is one of my biggest bugaboos. I am constantly railing against them on the channel, but you're right. That's you do, why you, you don't get... care for limited editions. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Well, but this there's is limited edition, so you know. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I, again, if you're looking at it from the manufacturer point of, yeah. I want to be able to make something quality. I want to be able to make money, and I also want to stop and make something else for creativity purposes. Oh uh, wow! But you know what? It's kind of weird. I figured I show her my watch box, I'd end up at the doghouse. But it looks like we've gone the other way here, ladies and gentlemen. She's full of surprises. Okay, but all right. I See, Oman is coming in around 1800 bucks. Um, yeah. We're looking at about, uh, th this one's uh, pricier than you might think. This is about $35 here. I, I want to say this one ended up closer to 40 uh, This This one is breaking the bank at 120 bucks or so. Yeah. Uh, this one lands around, oh, where did that land? Right around 900 or 1000 This guy is the one that I built. Uh, at the, the the in the the event thing where I, oh, I built okay. the watch, so yeah, not about the aesthetics. I get you, but um, I mean it's simple. And then the Batman watch, of course, is the Batman watch, and there's it's priceless. It, 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 that it, to me, yes, yes, it is. Okay, any other thoughts on the watch box before I I ensconce this happily back in the safe? Um, I'm somewhat relieved <laughs> that it's not all. Crazy expensive stuff. No. Oh, oh, and this guy was um, two hundred and fifty nine. Yeah, I mean that seems that seems reasonable. Yeah. You know. Good thing. Like um, just trying but to make the sale there. I, I'm relieved that it's not <laughs> yes. crazy. Yes. Um, Hallelujah. And yeah. I, which which would be like like uh, for some reason Facebook has been sending me ads for Rolexes and I don't know why. Um, Facebook I, is trying to get you with the watches. Um, it it's it's it, it it speaks to like are they listening? Um, yeah, like oh but, god, this is the wife of Nick Chavez. I, we can get her. <laughs> so know, yeah, I so. So I mean, it's it's somewhat a relief to know that nope. it, it's not anywhere near those ranges. Not that like really, I was concerned about it being at that level, but You're good. You let's know. let's keep it that way, shall we? <laughs> yeah. But okay, cool. Thank you very much.
All right, now finally, I have brought the wife along, and it's time to ask the chick. Uh, sometime back, I actually asked all of my Patreon patrons, hey guys, if you had one question for a woman strange enough to marry Nick Chavez, uh, what would that question be? And, um, you know, of course, I, they, 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 there, there have been many questions, but I'd like to ask a couple of the, um, a couple of the more beautiful ones. Um, one person, and some of the names are now missing, um, but does Nick nitpick every appliance or other purchase that you buy? Yes. Okay, how does that work out? Um, pretty much everything has some research behind it. Um, and so, like... First purchase he ever made that I was around was over a decade ago was for a couch. <laughs> there were months of research, months of like going and testing things um, before a commitment was made. And there has been constant <laughs> questions since. Yeah, but we're still using that couch. We, we are still using that couch. And ironically, they have somehow become more expensive. Yeah, go figure, right? Um, uh, okay, fair enough. And the couch is a gem. Can we agree? The, 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 it, it has, uh, having moved many times, it has served its practical purpose, is still comfortable. Um, and downside is that it costs, oh, you could buy probably at least one other reasonably priced couch um, for how much it would take to redo some of the cushions, which seems impractical. Okay. I, I can see that. Yeah. All right. Um, what is your favorite piece of gear that I own? Um, are we talking knives? Are we anything. talking watches? Or, uh, Just anything. Of all of the things that you of have. Of all of the you things have that many, I own. Many things. Is there one that jumps out at you? No. <laughs> Okay, so just uh, it doesn't register, basically. No, I mean, you have lots of stuff, and they can be helpful things. Um, I can't think of anything that I use of yours, so I don't know. And one thing you do use on a regular basis is the Spydeco Ladybug for opening packages. Yes, but that's mine. Well, oh, no. <laughs> that, was, that was a gift to me. That's not yeah, yours, true. That right? Is true. It's yeah. not okay. Nick gear. Yeah, it's wife gear. That's fair. That's, that's so, fair. That's yeah. Fair. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Uh, what was your reaction when Nick said he was going to start doing gear reviews? I don't think you told me you were going to do it. I, at some point, you said you've been doing it and that people liked it and wanted more and you were confused. Yeah, <laughs> and I still am. <laughs> okay, yeah. beautiful. Um, do you watch his reviews? Some, not all. Okay. Um, I, I, they, I find them funny and entertaining when I do watch them, but I don't have the interest in the topic so it's not as interesting for me to watch in a as it would be for a hobbyist sort of thing do you have a favorite video that nick has done so one of the questions um <laughs> no because i don't have enough of your videos okay. that i've watched all right i support this um we are uh, go ahead that was it. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, let's see here. We all know how long Nick's reviews are. How long were the vows he wrote for the wedding? <laughs> they were within very, very good timing and well done and oh. um, did make me cry. I don't think there was, uh, no knives were mentioned. No. Nope. Um, so. But knife pictures were done at the reception. Yep. Um, which... I didn't mind. <laughs> um, does Chick Shabazz support the husband, by the way, yeah, uh, support the husband's knife and gear addiction uh, just generally? 99% um, of the time, I do. Um, What's this other 1%? I'm, I'm curious now. What am I? The, I the obsession with the post office is uncomfortable oh, at yeah. times. Yeah. They're like, oh, I have to go to the post office like every 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, there used to be before post office was used as much. I got to check the mail and it's Sunday and you don't have any mail. Um, That's a thing. And yep. so there, there, there's that. Yeah. 
it's definitely the case that I think the people at my uh, local post office are probably the people I've seen most since the start of the lockdown, aside from my uh, love and yeah. wife. Yeah, and they, they recognize me as well. They're like, oh, it's for Nick, and yeah. Yeah, that's a um, thing. Uh, let's see here. Would you rather fight one elephant-sized Danny DeVito or ten Danny DeVito-sized elephants? I'd say one. Okay. Um, practically speaking, that that seems to make more sense. Okay. Um, and I the the spider co knife that we were just talking about on another video. Yeah. Would so watch that video. Um, yeah, the spider co respect Bowie. Um, would be helpful. Okay. Um, and you would have to maintain your laughter. Okay. Um, yep, I can see that being difficult. Uh, what is Nick's single most annoying habit? Or if that's too difficult, what are the top 10? Um, I, there's a, th th that's hard because are you differentiating between you as my husband or you as Nick? Oh, let's just go for which it. Which there's, there's an integration of personality. Sure. Um, <laughs> I went off. <laughs> but I would say combined factor of very little sense of time oh yeah um i'll be down at 8 30 becomes an hour and a half later um yeah. which can be frustrating at times yes i can see that yep oh hey i just got to finish this review i'll be down in a few minutes mm -hmm. and then three hours later yeah that's a problem uh are we uh, asks a patreon patron in a cult um we we've I, I have some familiarity with uh, the psychological aspects of <laughs> of a cult working in 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 fields of mental health, um, and there are aspects of it. Certainly, um, there's an expectation of some conformity. Um, there is a, a time suck. There is That's a. Sure. Um, there is some isolation from friends and family, um, though there is some confusion there with you're also supposed to quarantine in a pandemic. Yeah, so isolation is a thing. You're being told to do that by another entity outside of this. So okay, <laughs> yeah. So then, then um, my Patreon patrons are not. That's not counting against them. Um, then. And the, the 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 thing that differentiates it is it is completely voluntary. You can walk away at any time, and there are no um, you're not losing anything. I, voluntary yeah, Patreon patrons, please don't use your voluntary choice. But yes. um, but that also means that because you're there by choice, there's a level of enthusiasm and passion and desire that brought you there oh. rather than I'm here because I feel like I have to be here. Good. Okay. Uh, do you get a good, great, bad, and the ugly for dinners that are cooked? Um, no, you're generally just grateful that there's food yep. in your face. Yep. Um, and you have very minimal food standards, which is sad when you're eating alone. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah. I, I definitely, even my most basic meal really brings the bar up higher. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, as picky as I am about gear, I am not about food. Uh, although her food is quite good. I'd like to clarify that. Uh, which of you decides longer on the day's, uh, takes longer to decide the day's accessories? Oh, you definitely. Yeah. I, I, I'm you know, going to be with I you. I have there. very few pieces of jewelry and really don't wear any of them. So... Uh, there has to be a story about a cringe-worthy pun that he made in public that we need to hear. Is there? Or do they all blend together at this point? I mean, I would say they blend together because it's 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 happening all the time. Um, and there, I, honestly, there's not a day that, <laughs> that goes by without something of the kind. And I, I would say that... The, uh, as a partner, the frustration <laughs> comes when I make some pretty good puns and I get a, like, nothing. Oh. I get a very minimal response to some pretty good stuff. Oh, and I'm sorry. If, I... I'm, if I'm showing it for you, then you got to bring it for me. Uh, this is true. I'm, I, I, will, I will work on that. This is a good marriage counseling session here. 
Um, what is your most commonly used piece of everyday gear? Um, the the little Spiderco ladybug. Ladybug, yep. yeah. Um, okay. That and like there, I have some some of the chef knives that okay. I use. Um, they I they do that. not get the level of chefiness, let's call it, that they really probably deserve. Um, sure. But they get some use. Okay. Uh, who is the best Batman? Adam West. Good. Uh, you've not been coached, right? No, I, I knew. Yeah. I, I love you. I'm, for anybody who doesn't know, and I'm <laughs> slightly older, I'm a puma. Yeah. Um, I'm slightly older, and... I know who Adam West is before I knew who you were. So, oh, snap. Well, actually, um, I hope so. Yeah. Uh, favorite Harry Potter character? Uh, Bellatrix Lestrange. This should explain some things. Um, who um, is the straw? <laughs> Go ahead. I, I identify more with the... I, I am a Sith Lord. Yeah, um, honey. Uh, me over a, here. a lady Sith Lord. Um, and... You know, I like live live in the gray area of life. Um, that uh, the, the the Jedi are too <laughs> Christian and too rigid, um, and so is the Resistance. Okay, um, she's Mara Jade. For those of you who have read the Star Wars books, this is Mara Jade right here, minus the red hair. Um, who is the strongest Avenger? The strongest, like physically strongest. Uh, interpret as you will. Who is the strongest Avenger? Um, I mean, there's an argument for Thor on, like, just pure physicality because he can pick up the hammer that, like, no one else in the universe besides its makers can pick up. So there's an argument for he's the strongest mofo out there. Yep. So, um, okay. Iron Man is only strong because of the machinery, not as an individual. Although there is, if you're... Talking metaphorical strength, strength of the mind, there you go. Um, which you. then leads you towards, um, oh, the Butler dude. The Butler dude, Alfred. Not no, Alfred. You're talking. That's you're you're going yeah, Batman, that, that, yeah. and you're going. That's the DC, dude. by the way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Catch yourself down. with the. Um, doesn't his uh, Iron Man's like. Kind of uh, like uh, AI Butler become oh, oh, a Jarvis, thing. Jarvis, Jarvis doesn't yeah, he yeah, become yeah, a thing yeah, in the yeah. later in the later so. movies? So there's an argument for the the again strength of mind. Okay, uh, how much does being uh, how much as a woman does having fingernails spoil the fun of using modern pocket knives? Um, how much does the design of modern pocket knives ruin the fun of having nails? Ah, well, there's okay. a there's a priority there. As somebody who is, I am a nail enthusiast. I, much like your viewers, obsess over knives and gear and their um, desired um, icons of knifery. Let's call it <laughs> of uh, the everyday carry um, world. I have my own um, icons of the nail world and. Um, you know, that's something that's very important to me on a daily basis. And I have gotten just as nerdy about my nails as you have about your gear stuff. I wish that I could pull down the subscriber numbers that some of these nail channels, what is it, Simply Nailogical or whatever? So shout out to Simply Nailogical that she is she is a badass. And um, and you, you got to mention Simply Ben Logical as well. Of course. Um, as a supportive partner. Um, I'm afraid I am not her favorite YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love you and you, you are my favorite partner. Um, but uh, there, there are some really great people out there who, who, who do the nail stuff that I, that I follow. And, and, and again, going back to the original question that I prize my nails over the knife um, because that's just what I do. <laughs> if you had trouble hearing that, I'm sorry. That was the sound of my heart breaking. Um, hey, let's see here. Does it ever weird you out that your husband basically has a cult following behind him focused on knives? And if so, what do you think is the weirdest part? 
Um, it is weird to, to have a partner who is a YouTube personality. Um, he is not an out YouTube personality, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, in that he is, he is a private being. He is, he has managed to, to do that. And, and I appreciate and respect that, um, in trying to live my own life. Um, and it, it is weird. Um, <laughs> yep. And I, I think probably the weirdest moments are like, you know, you come downstairs and you're wearing a Batman mask and you're doing it unironically. <laughs> right. Which actually brings us to another one, which is, does Nick wear the Batman mask in bed? Um, in bed, no. Okay. Um, I, I am not a Batman fan of that level. Um, it is not a request that's been made. Um, I appreciate that. Although, if I ever get stopped at, like, airport security with a Batman mask and they start asking me questions, I hope you know, honey, that my go-to is going to be, my wife really likes it. <laughs> my wife's a huge fan. Yeah, exactly. You know? uh, so, okay. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing when Nick is in the Batcave making videos for his cult followers? Um, <laughs> often doing prison. my nails. Yeah. Um, watching TV, reading books, okay. doing stuff, you know. Fair enough. Um, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> uh, when you met, what was your first impression of Nick? Um, of Nick or of my husband? There's, well, there's they, some they, they would argue there. that they are very um, similar beings. Of, of you, it yeah. was... Um, what is it that I say? He's cute, but he needs a haircut. Yeah, I did at the time. Um, which within a week, he got yeah. a haircut. Um, so, you know. I don't just and now we're married, that. so yeah. pay attention. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Does Nick leave knives laying around like kids leave toys laying around? I mean, there are definitely a lot of knives around, but I don't think that you leave them laying around in a, like, this is going to sound strange, in a disrespectful manner. <laughs> um, they're not, like, haphazardly thrown about. Um, yeah. Uh, do you ever sit down and have the you have too many knives talk? I have never done that, no. Uh, I, she I, really I, has it. It's wonderful. Yeah, One of many I, reasons I, do not, I, I do not feel... At this point, um, it is within reasonable levels as I look around at all of the knives that are at least visible at the moment. Um, and this is all of them? Yeah, I, I know that's not true. Yeah, that's um, good point. But it, it's what you do for fun, and if I'm going to put limitations on the amount of knives I have, then I'm your mom, not your wife. Um, within reason, again, within Thank reason. And also, like, I, I'm an adult. I don't want to be told I have too much of something. Yeah, I, um, I'm with you. Because yeah. if you go after the knives, I'm going after the nail, the nail, uh, not nail, the, the, polish. The nail polish. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I have, like, a couple hundred nail polishes, whatever. Yeah. It's, it's, there are many people with more. What's it like trying to explain what your husband does on the weekends to people? Um... Not very many people know yeah. that you're a YouTuber, like some, some very close friends and family um, who were like, what? <laughs> um, and then watch a video or two and are like, oh, you're funny. Um, <laughs> so I, it doesn't have to get explained a lot, I think. And I'm not going to share exactly what, but what you actually do for a living is actually way more confusing to people. Yeah, that's true. That That, that is absolutely 100% true. Um, let's see here, uh, da, 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 da. um, who has the bigger hands between the two of you? And I think that's actually, that is our last, uh, patron question, but let's go on ahead and put that out and just set these bad boys down. We got some foreshortening issues here. I'll put you right here and then, so what we see here is, uh, although her nails are way better, we're not that far off, I feel like. I got maybe slightly more in the palms and the fingers here, but the LBH factor is very real. Um, yeah, I mean, your your like your fingers are thicker. Um, my nails are obviously longer, which makes my fingers look longer than they really are. Um, but 
there's definitely a difference in like width and I don't know muscle in your hand. <laughs> Do, do, do yeah, hands have, I mean, hands actually have tendons, but well, you know, there are muscles in there too. You know, can you pump up your hand? I don't know. Oh yeah, you know, I'm, I'm flexing it as a hand model. I mean, you, you can know, strengthen you gotta... your wrist, but you can't make your hand bigger. So uh, I don't some know, maybe. kind of muscle. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. Is there anything else you would like to tell the world of YouTube? Not at this time, no. All right. In that case, thank you very much, wife, for taking this time and uh, sharing your thoughts, your opinions, your feelings, and uh, your overall, uh, well, experience with the uh, YouTube community. And uh, everybody else, thank you very much and have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.